What's up, everybody? We uh, got off. Probably finish peeing before I do this interview. It's raining out here. We got a big old waterfall. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's the afternoon. We uh, got hunted this morning. Ended up killing two. Probably could have killed a couple more, but it's cooling off. We're gonna go out scouting tonight, but we figured we'd get after some coons. So we're next to a creek. Tori's got his longbow. Tulane's got his bow fishing recurve. I don't know how that's gonna work. Hopefully we can call up a couple coons before it gets dark. And I couldn't, I, I couldn't get my eye down mm -hmm. on the string, so I just shot. I thought, I mean, it. It looked anyway, good. It was bullshit. <laughs> I knew better than to do that because if you don't anchor, I mean, if I can't get my my finger to here, where I usually anchor, my well just throws. Well. I mean, it just changes the whole sight picture. So I don't fucking saw my arrow. Oh, that's a pull. Well, that's how it goes. We were the, uh, that was the first stand and it came in in 40 seconds probably and we'll get the next one, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, it rolled in just yeah. like they're supposed to. That's how it's supposed to happen, everything, except it ought to be blood on the tip of that air. <laughs> it ought to be more coon hair. That's the one from yesterday. But that's just a, a rookie mistake right there can't shoot these longbows with your hat turned around forward <laughs> unless you push it up and I forgot to do it. We'll get the next one. We moved the truck 800 yards probably and we're sneaking into the second spot so hopefully we'll call one in here. We'll have a little better luck. No excuses. I got that hat on backwards this time. <laughs> Missing. Alright, spot number three. Hopefully we get one. Spot number four. We've called two stands and haven't had any by this water here, which will be cool. I think the kids like to hang out around the water, especially in the summer when it's hot. So we're hoping we can call one right up this bank and get a pretty close shot. Wish us luck. This footage should be cool. Right there on the bank, I'm coming. Oh, quick. 
clear shit. He stopped right behind that tree. Just oh, yeah. Could you see him? Why didn't you see him? I gotta keep this bullshit. Some days we'll make a dozen stands and call up, you know, coons on eight or twelve. The next day you'll go and call the same type stuff, make a dozen stands, and you know, call up two or three. Right. So let's hit or miss on it. See if we make some holler. If we can, we'll slip down in there and try to kill them. Had a group of coyotes here uh, back about a month ago located in a creek bottom. And hopefully they're still there. We'll start with a lone owl. This is Boone Lone Wine Owls. If they don't answer the lone owls, we'll jump over and hit them with a group owl. Just get a little more aggressive. Make them talk. Same group. Think we can make it happen before dark? <laughs> I'd like to get after it. <laughs> we are. We're gonna have to walk or we're drive. Gonna, we'll have to look at the map and see how we can get over there because we can't cross this thick. So they're probably at least six hundred yards. We decided to roll in here and see if we could locate them. We pulled in here. They immediately held back. Sound like pretty good group of coyotes, I don't know, at least four. Um, so we're gonna back out, go down another road. Hopefully the wind's right. We should be able to get within 150, 200 yards, but we're kind of chasing daylight, which is what Tori kind of warned about at night. You kind of get to where you only got a certain amount of time until it gets dark. So I'm gonna pull out here, head down that road, hopefully get close to them, and uh, we'll see.
This is why I don't like afternoon hunting. But we got it done just in the nick of time. And no kidding, I was about out of light. I finally went right to MFK Table Scraps, which is a pup fight. Pretty aggressive sound. And about the time I muted it, I was supposed to say we're out of light because I knew the camera was getting dim. As soon as I muted it, I seen him come busting out. And rather than try to turn it back on, I just let him come. He held up out there for a second or two. Couldn't take it. Had to come on in here. He messed up. Eat him up with that shotgun. Nice work. Fun stuff. That's awesome. That'll do. That it will. Now we can try to make it out to the truck. That's right. With what little bit of light we got to <laughs> so get out of here. We got a pretty good walk out of here too. It is worth it. Fun stuff. That's going to wrap up today's video. As you can see, we kind of had a wild afternoon. Called in the coon. Had a mishap on that. Called in the hog. Stopped behind a tree. But Tori knew this group was in here. We kind of filmed the whole thing. Got up on the ridge. Called them. Heard them. We kind of undershot where we thought they were, which is always good because we don't want to get in and spook them. Ended up making a move. It was, I mean, I know y'all don't know how the camera works, but we had it bumped all the way up on exposure, and uh, yeah, ended up making it happen. Tori saw him come out of the thicket, and it was awesome. So we're down here with Tori from MFK Game Calls. Check out his stuff, guys. We've been using all of his calls, his diaphragms, um, his electronic calls. They're awesome. T Lane and I were talking about we've got the cheap call at home, and it's just not really the same so we're gonna fix all of that yeah so it's all gonna be made for killing <laughs> <laughs> so it's just clearly different and clearly more realistic sounds and tori's got this figured out so we're gonna be down here for four more days i think we got plenty of coyote killing left to do we're gonna hop in the truck hopefully go locate some for tomorrow and uh hopefully in the next video you see us kill something down here it's awesome about arkansas you can kill a bunch of stuff during the summer people don't do it but We've been having a bunch of fun. It's about to get nasty down here. <laughs> about to get nasty. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.